time with my honeybees, well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur. But I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. chain that created them. No, their little fingers were right there next to mine.
You saved me.
I find being around them very uncomfortable. Even with those things implanted in their bellies, they are still children. They play and sing. Sometimes they look at me and they don't stop. Sometimes they smile. Welcome to the search of the valley! Go big! 
away from your light.
On my walk today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering palooka in a foul-smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. And it was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. One of the children came and sat on my lap. I push her off. I shout, get away from me. I can see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth. It's thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face. Dirty clothes. And that dead glow in her eye. I feel hatred like I never felt before. In my chest, bitter, burning fury. I can barely breathe. And suddenly I know it is not this child I hate. Hold it! Where is he, Madonna? I heard that. I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid lines, you propose to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion and variables. Would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become of free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Someone's there! 